Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, cinematic trailer title animation in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. To create this title effects, you need to have installed Saba plugin, download link for Saba plugin is provided in the description. Let's start creating our title. Let's create a new composition. Name it as title animation. Set width to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels. Set frame rate to 30. For this demonstration, I will set time duration for this composition to 5 seconds. If you want you can also increase the time duration depending on your requirement. It's completely up to you. Now we will create a new solid layer. This will be our background. In effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to background layer. Here you can set any color of your choice for background, from light shade to dark shades. Position the start and end ramp. Change ramp shape to radial ramp. Set ramp scatter value to 500. Perfect. Now for the background layer. In effects and preset, search for noise. Add it to the background layer. Now set the amount of noise to 10%. Perfect. Now let's add some particle effect to the background. Create a new solid. Name it as particles. Now in effect and preset. Search for particles. Select CC particle system 2. Add it to the particle layer. Now in particles. Change particle type to faded sphere. Change birth size to 0.01. Change death size to 0.30. Change birth and death color. Now in physics. Change animation to twirly. Change velocity to zero. Inherit velocity to 50%. Gravity to zero. Now in producer, change value of radius x, change value of radius y. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for position. Now at end of the timeline, Change position as shown. Perfect. You can see the preview. Perfect. If you want to make particles visible from start then, move the particle layer forward till the particles are visible. Perfect. Press U to view created keyframes. Let's extend the layer, position this keyframe at end. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. 
in effects and preset, search for tint. Add tint to adjustment layer. Here you can set the background color. Perfect. Now let's add the text. Here I am using Unison font. Let's align the text to center. Here you can adjust the text size and space between the text layers. Perfect. Let's change the text color. You can also add fill effect and set the color. For text layer. In animate, select tracking. Now at start of the timeline. Create keyframe for tracking. At end of the timeline. Change tracking amount. Perfect. Now for text layer. In effects and preset, search for circle. Add it to text layer. At start of the timeline, create keyframe for radius. Set radius to 100. Now at 10 frames. Change radius value to 150. Now at 2 seconds and 10 frames. Change radius value as shown. Perfect. In feather, change outer edge feather value to 50. Change blending mode to stencil alpha. You can see the preview. For text layer, press S to bring up the scale. Create a keyframe for scale. Change scale value as shown. Change it to near about 1000%. At 10 frames, change scale value to 100%. You can see the preview. Now let's add the Saber effect for the text layer. Create a new solid layer. Name it as Saber. Now from effects, in video copilot, select Saba. Let's set preset to, fusion. Here you can set the color. Set glow intensity to 15%. Set glow speed to 0.07. Glow bias to 1. Core size to 1.5. In customize core. Change core type to text layer. Now select the text layer. Perfect. Now set start size to 0%. Change start offset to 50%. Start roundness to 0 0.20. Change end offset to 0%. In distortion. In glow distortion. Change distortion amount to 15. Set noise speed to 0 0.10. Noise scale to 600. In core distortion, change distortion amount to 5. Change distortion type to energy. Change noise scale to 20. In glow setting, 
change glow intensity to 75. In render setting, change composition setting to transparent. Alpha mode to mask core. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now at start of the timer line, create keyframe for glow intensity. Add 1 second and 10 frames. Change glow intensity to 2%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid. I will name it as cover. Now let's add the ellipse shape. Double click on the ellipse tool to add ellipse mask. Change it to invert. Let's slightly increase the mask feather value. Adjust the mask opacity. Let's set mask opacity to 60%. Reduce the mask expansion value, as shown. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves, add it to adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as frame. Now select rectangle tool. Double click on the rectangle tool to add rectangle mask. Now adjust the mask as shown. Perfect. Select invert. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here your cinematic title is created. Now you can create multiple titles and create your trailer. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did then make sure to like this video and if you have any question or queries, then let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.